Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick video on the topo planner. We'll go ahead and start off by uh, specifying a location to go to. And now let's find a region to survey or set up a little project here. And in system parameters you have the option, there's four default, where you can specify your own. I'm going to go with the uh, tripod of the VZ400. Um, so here we got the scanner height, the coverage involved, the range to find a target, and then the cost. We also have our control points. Uh, we're going to have time associated with those, a distance, and another cost. Here's our units. Let's go ahead and save that. There is three different map types. I'm going to go ahead and stick with aerial for now. And we'll start off by placing our control. And here when we uh, place our control, we can use our circle to help uh, distance ourselves. So let's go ahead and place control like this. You can see I'm using the edge of the circle here. Now let's go ahead and mimic that on the other side. Now we'll move on to our scan positions. So a little bit smaller in range due to our coverage. And essentially I just want some overlap here. When I get to the intersections, I'm probably going to want to switch to a longer setup time due to traffic and complexity. And we have the option to delete specific scans, control, we can move that control or a scan. Um, and we can also uh, import our own control. If we'd like to save this project, we can. Uh, we can also load a previously designed project. And if we want to start over, we just clear it. I do want to mention the stats down here. We got our scanner cost, control cost, uh, the amount of scans and control, and then the time associated with this. So this project is estimated to be within one day. And that concludes the web-based app for Topo Planner.